What's the day? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And this is the place where we hang out for a couple of hours every week at 10 o'clock on a Monday and on a Wednesday. And we just stay safe, happy and creative, don't we? And we get a pen out and we doodle and we keep each other company and we keep each other sane. And that's what we do. And did you know that today we've been hanging out in the shack for 207 hours? It's like a marathon. It's been good though. I hope you can hear me. There we are. Good morning. Good morning, Jill. Always good to see. And Sonia too. Glad to have you back, Sonia. It's great to have your company. I find that uh, it's a lot better or easier now with the restrictions being lifted and with everybody um, getting back out there. Um, two days a week works, you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to get our jabs, I've got to go to the dentist tomorrow, all those things that we've been holding off doing, you know, especially the dentist, good grief, 500 quid for a filling, I've had to save up. <laughs> All right, it's a mad world. And there's someone from Holland. Hello, Aki. Lovely to have your company. So I can see everybody coming in. The weather's not really up for much here in England at the moment. In the southeast of England, it's a little bit mizzle, but that's good for the garden, isn't it? Everything's so green, green. Come on in. It'll be all right. And, uh, and Paul's in the building with you keeping you company too. And if you have any questions or any inquiries, then do ask Paul. He knows more than I do, I can assure you of that. So the sound is good as well. That's great. And the cameras are all working. And at the moment, we're in Camelot. Wow. I mean, we're, we're in the Shack Shack, but we're traveling to Camelot. And we're using the jousting and the horses and we're building a tapestry, aren't we? We're, we're just doodling. You've got to doodle something. We're going to hang out together. And so on Monday, we doodled a really nice um, a flourish, like a banner, didn't we? So that's cool. I guess, I guess sometimes I have to repeat myself and go right back to basics so that if there are any newcomers, anybody who feels the need uh, for company and who's feeling a little trapped or left out, you know, Shack Shack's a great place to hang out, as you well know. So, and if you've got friends and you feel that they might benefit from it, let them know, let them know, share, share. It's all about sharing. And it's not because I want loads more followers, nothing to do with that. It's to do with the fact that people might benefit from it, you know? People might benefit from our company, eh? And I don't mean Clarity Stamp, I mean our collective hanging out company. So it's good to have your company. On that note, let's get started. So what we did on, on Monday, which was really fun and really easy, wasn't it? Was this, um, happy birthday, Katie. Oh, happy birthday or happy anniversary or this was really cool, wasn't it? And I and I I'm transferring it to a, we did it on tracing paper and I'm transferring it to a piece of white card. And the idea is that down the road, maybe in a couple of weeks time, we can do this together. We can ink this. So anybody who didn't do this on Monday, for example, you could get to this place now by by watching the video from Monday, because it's all recorded on YouTube. So look up the, the one on Monday, number 206, and then you could catch up with us. And then in a couple of weeks time, we're gonna pen, pen this and color it in and make it beautiful. So even if you're new to the, the shack fold, you're not turning, it, it will feel like you're turning the film on halfway through, you know, because everybody knows everybody. But it's not like that here. You know, I'm on my own. Every single person in the shack is alone. And we just 
come together. It's one of the joys of the internet. This is one of the big pluses that we can hang out safely together, isn't it? So if you are new to the fold, don't feel that you're, you're switching the film on halfway through because we'll fill you in on what's been going on and you can go back and look at 207 hours of us blethering. So enjoy. Um, so hang on to that one. Catch up if you want to. And we're going to go back to Camelot and sort out um, the tent, the marquee. Yeah. So let's have a look what we're doing, shall we? Everybody okay? Yeah, I know. It's a funny old world at the moment. It's, um, it's a strange world. There's a lot of anxiety around. I know this to be true. I'm feeling it myself. And so on Mondays and on Wednesdays and on Tuesday with Paul in the Groovy Shack, we just forget about all that and do a little bit of mental yoga because that's what the Shack Shack's all about, isn't it? Just a little bit of karmic hermit, slow the whole thing down, yeah? Get with our hands, get out of our head, park all the fears. There's definitely, there's no other word for it. There's still a lot of fear around this, you know? Mm. But the good thing is we're not alone, okay? And we're on the bus to Camelot. I mean, win-win, eh? Win-win. And what's fascinating is how good your artwork is now. And mine. Mine's improved immensely since we started in the shack. I think it's a confidence thing as well, isn't it? But when I see, you know, when I think when we started out with the birds on the wire and where we're at now, it's quite overwhelming, isn't it? So... And I, and I track, I'm not saying I track you, but I'm aware of you. You know, I'm aware of Sonia. And then I, and then I see, for example, Sonia's just one example. And then, and then Sonia goes off, off piece. She goes off the radar. And I think, oh, I wonder if she's okay. You know, and then I see her back again. And I think, okay. And then Pat Hoskins. Pat, suddenly she's not around. And I think, I wonder where Pat's gone. So don't think that I'm just sitting here blurting and you're just a, uh, you know, um, an audience. I'm, I'm, I'm in tune. I, I get, I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, so let's go to Camelot and let's sort out this. We're going to do this bit today. <laughs> We've done, we did the horses. We did the jousters. That was so funny. And there's a digital download. Paul will give you the link if you need it, just in case horses are not your thing. Um, we did actually draw it for you and we, we've got a digital download of that. So that, that we can send to you or you can download it. Um, we did the little people. Oh, there was some Grace and I were looking at some of the artwork. Grace is my daughter in case you didn't know. Uh, she lives in New York and she also works with a company and, um, we were looking at some of the, um, the artwork on, on Clarity Worldwide. Oh, the faces. Oh, we just... We were in raptures. They're just so beautiful. So this bit, just like a little snapshot of per perfection. It was great. So let's do this bit. Have you got, this is where, this is my sketch that I follow. So I know where I'm going. I mean, if I'm the bus driver, I've got to know where we're headed. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Oh, there you go. There's a digi download. See, so you can download that. And then that's a good starting place because that's all we did, wasn't it? We downloaded, well, we didn't, we drew them, actually. You draw the horses, then you get the two jousters on the top, and then we're just building our way up here. And then when we got to here, um, and then the flags, we went off piste a bit and did our lovely happy birthday banner. Uh huh. And now we're back on track, we're back with the tent. Okay. Right, you ready to rock and roll? Uh, pencil, you need a pencil. Don't need any special pencil, you need a pencil. I'm going to go with, uh, let's have a look what I've got. These are great. I love, I love Faber-Castell, you know that. I've always loved Faber-Castell, as long as I've been able to hold a pencil. Uh, what have we got there? F. F. All right, I'll use that one then. I've got an H. I should have an HB somewhere, bog standard, but I, I don't know where it is. That'll do. All right, nice sharp pencil. Sharpen it. Call these a rubbish pen pencil sharpeners. I'm going to have to treat myself. Oh, that's a better one. See, it's not... It, with sharpening pencils... <laughs> <laughs> you silly cow. Did you see what she just did then? Oh, uh, don't... 
blow in the saucer. <laughs> oh, crikey. Yeah, well, you know what? There's one born every minute. <laughs> right. Think about sharpening pencils. And I'm teaching you to suck eggs here. The thing about sharpening pencils is that it's it's not it's how fast you sharpen it. Very often you can use a cheap pencil sharpener, but now where did I put those three things again? Oh, here they are. Do you remember we had this challenge last time? Not one, but three of these. It's not, it's how slowly you go. You have to let the blade, I mean, if the blade's blunt, the blade's blunt, and then you can do about it, get another sharpener. But it, sometimes you rip the pencil, especially colouring pencils, where the pigment is softer inside, and you rip the wood because you're going so fast. So the trick is to go slowly and let the pencil, let the, let the pencil catch up with the, with the blade, you know? Otherwise, you Right. And when you're using expensive pencils, like the polychromos, for example, and you want to hold on to the pigment and not waste it every time you sharpen, that's where these sanding blocks come in, see? Look. Couldn't find it. Had to get another one. Couldn't find it. Had to get another one. Couldn't find it. Had to get another one. Found them. <laughs> that sounds like a crafter syndrome. So, you see, this is sandpaper. And then you can just, if you want to get, a, these are brilliant, right? And they save, they save, especially if you're using like uh, expensive pencils, rather than sharpening it again, if I just want a, a chisel or a, just take out a bit of the, see, and I know now what I've got. So that's a good way to go. Okay. They're worth having. Right, so now we've told, talked about how to sharpen a pencil. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and how not to blow in the dish when you sharpen it. <laughs> Silly girl. Right. Okay. <laughs> Smelly shavings everywhere. Right? right. Okay. Tent. Marquee. <laughs> you ready? So what we've got to do? Let's have, let's study first what we're doing. All right. You ready? You got your pencil. You got your sharp pencil. Good. Got a cup of tea. My, the milk sour in my tea. I said this this morning at six o'clock. The milk sour. Dave said yeah, I was dreaming. It's not good. It's not ideal. <laughs> I might have to go to chamomile till I get some new milk. You know, don't you? You know when you're drinking milk that's off. Right. You ready? First of all, let's have a look at what we're going to do. We're going to build a tent around the people. If I show you on the back, right, we're going to build a, a tent, like a marquee. It's called it a marquee. It's posher. Right. And we're going to put two flags up, this, up here, and we're going to build a marquee. So what we're going to do is deconstruct it. It's very easy. Right, get your piece of, get your artwork, and get a ruler. Well, we'll use a ruler just to put the lines in place and then we'll draw it in by hand because it looks so much nicer if you draw it in by hand. So the first thing we've got to do is make sure that we leave, we've got to put the tips in here, but we need this bit and then we need the top, right? So I would suggest that we put a line in right above their heads, okay? Right above their heads because that will give us just literally right above their heads, like that. And that will give us... Um, where the where these flaps are going to come, right? That's the that's where the flap is. You can come down below the line, but you're going to have a, a kind of a gap. Then, so so now it's a question of how big do you want your the bit hanging down to be? And that I'd say I don't know about that big. That'll do like that, and then draw another line, okay, like that. You can use the grid on the ruler. Yeah? Hang on, let's go in a bit tighter. Should we come in a little bit tighter, girls and boys? Come on then. Right, there we are. Oh, I sounded so patronising. <laughs> right, so that's this bit, okay? Now we've got to do this bit here, this bit. So another line, I'd say about the same, not more. Well, I don't know. 
maybe a bit less. I'm going to make it a little bit less this time because I know I need a bit more space at the top. All right, that'll do. So I'm going to make this bit a little bit narrower, I think. I don't know. Yeah, that there. And then we need to put the the the, the roof on, okay? Centre. We're going bang in the middle. So let's have a look. How far are we from the edge? Five inches, two and a half inches in is going to be the middle. And I say we're going to go up about an inch. So about to there. Doesn't have to be ridiculously tall, like that. And then that's going to be the roof. Bang in the middle. Just do a triangle now, right? Uh, it's not going right to the edge though. It's going to go uh, to about here, yeah? So we've got the lines in. And then we're going to put the, the flag posts in. So come in about half an inch. We're just going to put, I mean, that's why we're doing it on tracing paper, isn't it? So we'll put her, see, she's hanging over the edge a bit more than, that would be all right. Right, put the flag post in there. Put another flag post in there like that. All right. So that's where the, flag po the flags are going to be. Okay. So that's where the flags are going to be then that's where you're going to come to. So then you're going to go to there. Now, here's a choice that you can make. Do you want your, your marquee to be straight, like real taut, okay? Or do you want it to hang a little bit? Your choice. I'm going to go by hand, see what that looks like this time. So I'm going to come down like that, and I'm going to come a little bit of a curve. It's been raining bit of rain on there. Right, that's it. The ropes are slack. <laughs> there you are. And then there's a little tiny point at the top. We might put a little flag on there or something because it's the Royal Grandstand. Okay, it's the Royal Grandstand, this one, isn't it? I'll tell you what I do need. Something to lean on. Lean on me. When you're... Yeah, I've got so much stuff here. I know. See, if I lean on that, then it will stop me smearing the pencil. Look, I get all black here. So if I lean on them, I won't do that. Because in a minute, we're going to transfer all this, aren't we? In a minute, we've got to turn this all around and then push it through. Yeah, that's going to be a job and a half. There's your weekend sorted. <laughs> Right, now, let's get our... Uh, you ready for the next bit? So the next thing is, we've got to put our... these bits in. And these bits will dictate everything else. So let's just deconstruct this. If we put one bang in the middle, right, we've got one here, and then we've got un deux trois. So we've got one in the centre, and then three of these flaps on that side. One, two, three, and three on that side. Woo! Would we call these if we were trying to sell them because I don't think flaps would do it. <laughs> I don't think that that would be the right marketing spiel um, to try and sell this this tent. <laughs> what would you call these? Hey, because you could put your coat of arms on each of these, couldn't you? You see, you could put your, your like your your crest, your family crest, on all of these if you were really in, you know. <laughs> patriotic but what would you call these not flaps come on bit of bit of interaction here give us a give us a hand what would you call those hmm I'm trying to think Dra not drapes <laughs> I don't know. What, what was that right come on one in the middle and then we'll go outwards three so so this is the line that it's coming along. So if that's in the middle, we're going to do one in the middle. So this is going to be here, right? And they're about, I don't know, and they're not half an inch. They're not even half an inch. You've got one there, right? So if you do one there, and then you've got three to do here. So do another one at each end. That will help. Do another one there and another one there. What we're doing here is these bits, right? These bits, even though I'm putting the line there, I'm getting these triangles in. Then we'll knock the lines out afterwards. So we've got one in the middle, one at either end, and then we'll put two in there. 
This is a piece of cake if you work it out like this. Look, just do it like that. It's just so much easier. So you've got triangle, 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 triangle thingy. See? Okay. Now we've got that. Now we can put the triangles in. So, so these are the these are the. Come on, have we had a, have we got a better word than flaps yet? <laughs> um, I don't know. I really, I wouldn't get the job. So there you go. Get your triangles in. Don't worry, we'll get rid of that again. That oh, that's a bit ropey. That one. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. The number one sewing item at Clarity is still uh, the rubber, the eraser pencil. Right, that'll do. Okay, so we've got our triangles, yeah? And then we're going to come up like that, and then come up like that. These are the bits. This is going to look fine, right? And mine's a bit squat this time, this marquee. This is the... This is the deluxe version, right, upgrade. This is the basic one, but it does the job, keeps the rain off. There we go. Okay, you got that? Have we got that much so far? And then we're gonna put these bits in, because this is the tent now. Okay. Now take your rubber, your expensive <laughs> eraser pencil, and as I blow in the sauce of grey, and take out the these bits. It's just an easy way to draw it, I find, if end. Everybody happy? Well, we've got pennants, bunting, or swags. You've got the job. Pennants. I like that. Pennants, bunting. Bunting's good. Swags. I definitely, you're definitely in the curtain game, you people. Certainly better than flaps, isn't it? <laughs> I need a brush. Here's one. To get rid of the rubbery bit. There you go. Right, so I think, yes, great words. I'm going with, I think they're pennants. What do you think? Bunting. Swags. Flaps. Looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. This one's, a, they're a bit wide, aren't they? It's all right, though. It's only because they're so sh short this time, they're squat. So we can make this bit a bit longer. See? We can come down. Yep. That looks better already. Come down beyond the line, because you've got room. That's why we made that line. See? This is looking good. And it's when you... Um, what will happen is, in a minute, you'll get that optical illusion. See, because when we put shade in there, that's when it starts to go in and out, right? So don't, it's not over yet. Don't start throwing all your toys out the pram saying it's rubbish because you haven't even finished yet. Right, that would do. Okay, it's going to be so cool. Right, so we've got our swags, our pennants, our bunting. Looks very, very regal, this does. Yeah, doesn't it look good now? All right, so we've done that, and now we're going to have to pull this up, and each one of these goes up to the middle. Now, I'm doing this by hand. Oh, I'm going to regret this in a minute, because I'm going with the, the, the idea that there was a little bit of slack on the ropes. See, I think it looks... This is a great circus or a... Wouldn't it? Hang on, I think I'm better off going tall on this. So every single point here, along here now, all has to drive up to the centre, okay? You good with this? Are you enjoying this? I hope so, I am. Here we go, up we go. Camelot. Yeah, it was always fascinated me, that whole kind of period in history. I mean, I know it's not. I bet it was quite a dark time, wasn't it? It's always appealed to me. Something about it. It's quite magical, isn't it? Right. Merlin and all that, eh? And the Druids. It's always been a very English thing, isn't it? It's very English. Right, here we go. 
that's better. Bit of breathing. I like this. Right, so we've got our... I come again now. Get the old... It's easier to go from up and up and in, actually. Right, steady hand required. That one's a bit ropey. That's looking a bit better now, Barbara. Right, up it comes. Then the centre ones. See, I need a bit of lead. I need some sort of... Because in a minute I'm going to want to transfer this. I was thinking about this before we all got together at 10 o'clock. One thing that I'm already over, right, <laughs> the decision that I've already made, is that when we transfer this to, the like, the real deal, the paper, Okay, because I was thinking, what should we transfer it to? I've made my mind up what I'm going to use. Um, but I was thinking that I'm quite happy to work in reverse. In other words, when I transfer this to the to best, I'm not... Cons Let me take this one and I'll show you what I mean. Like that is the way we're drawing it, okay? So usually if we wanted it like this on our artwork, we'd have to turn it over put lead on the back, then turn it over again, and then transfer it. We'd have to do a double transfer. Otherwise, if you do it this way round, and you do this, the Queen's sitting on the other chair, everything's in reverse. But because the whole thing is quite symmetrical, our tapestry, I'm absolutely fine with only transferring it once. I'm not going to do a double transfer so that, so that the Queen's sitting on the right seat. I don't care, okay? <laughs> <laughs> once repeated is plenty because then you've got to ink it as well so this is a big job but hey tapestries take as long as they take don't they don't they yes hands up all you tapestry artists and quilters i bet we've got plenty of quilters in the building and a jilly jilly clifton who works with us fabulous quilter she made um, dave and me a fantastic quilt for our um for our wedding gift it's on our bed Every, I, I, I think about Julie every time I go to bed. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It's only because her quilt's on the bed. <laughs> and I love her dearly. But, yeah, it must have taken months to make this quilt. And it must have cost a fortune, you know. So if it takes us a couple of hours to transfer this onto a bit of buff paper, I think we can cope. That's what I was going to do. I wanted to show you. Because I thought this would be a really good... Just so that you know where we're working ahead. See... Do you remember? Let me come out a bit so you can see what I'm looking at here. Out, 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 great, out, out, out. Do you remember when we we were using the black and the buff paper when we did the houses at Christmas? That was great. The funky, the landscape. Loads of you did your Christmas cards like that. And in the in the set in the pack, you've got the black. You've got the darker buff. See, see the difference. There's a dark buff, and then you've got a light buff. And I was thinking, because this is going to be a tapestry, rather than go straight on to white, like I think white's a bit, there's a lot of, I was, I tried out, look, I just took one little lady and I put her, let's see if we can see her here. I put her, let me see if you can see her. I just tried her out on the buff. I used the white pencil, that works like a charm. I used the grey pencil, but because it's, medieval times, I thought that the buff, the light buff, would be perfect for this, for transfer. I think this will look superb because it will be, it will look old before it even starts. And the thing about this this paper, apart from being really good quality, um, it's it's got a beautiful fleck in it. Loads of you have already got it, but it's got a lovely kind of, um, if you hold it to the light, it's got a, it's got, it's got texture in it. It, w it was expensive when we bought it. Remember, I think you call that's a pretty price for a piece of paper. But it's good. Yeah, so there you go. And I'm going to transfer to the light buff. So if you want to you wanna follow my lead, um, make sure that you've got some of that in the cupboard because it's really nice. Or craft card. Craft card's a little bit darker. The light buff is just about perfect. Now, this is the one I've already done. So where's the one that I'm working on? What have I done with that now? Where have I put that? So I went to this. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's 
tell you what. <sighs> right, and stretch. I can't even have a cup of tea because it tastes horrible. Not very nice. Mind you. No. No, Dave, if you're listening, the milk is off. Bile. Uh, right, you ready? Come on, stretch your necks. <laughs> if somebody had said to us last April that we'll still be doing this next May, we would have laughed at them, wouldn't we? Hmm? I would have. I'd have said, you must be joking. I've got things to do, people to see, places to go. <laughs> and here we are. And I'd, I can't think of anywhere I'd rather be at the moment. Really not. You know, I'm watching the news and everybody's jumping, hop, skip, jumping. If they can't go to a particular country, they're trying to go via another country to get to the country. And you think, well, I'm not. I, you know, each to their own. Each to their own. What they do is their business, but what I do is my business. And, and I'm more than happy to stay at home and craft. You know, I don't have that that burning desire to travel. Is it my age? I don't know. I'm getting my jab this afternoon. Did I say one o'clock? <laughs> Second one. Second one. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel better, you know? I don't know if it works, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> so it works in that regard. Hmm? Who's had both jabs? Hands up one, both hands up for two. I'm like that. So close, so close. But one for sure, second one nearly. Yeah, it'll be all right. It'll all be fine. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. I tell you what it isn't. It isn't India. It isn't war-torn Syria. It's not Afghanistan. You know what I mean? Reality check, eh? Reality check. We're doodling Camelot. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> it can't be that bad. You've still got electric. Right, come on. Stop larking about, Grey. Right, we've done the we've done the tent. Now we need the tent poles because at the moment it's just levitating, which is a bit bizarre. So we'll do the tent poles. Right, hang on, I need to lean on. Lean on. Right, tent poles. You want to have a look at the original one. So it goes all the way up. It catches the, the marquee and the penance. <laughs> I like that word. And then it comes down to there and here as well. Okay, either side. Bit ropey, but that's okay. So well, let me just, I'm gonna put a bit of a quirky bend on mine, so I like that. Right, bend, come down, and then off that way there. So we'll do a double, do a double one. Yeah, take that line out, that ruler line. Right, so we we'll come down like that. Catch the, because that's the whole idea is it's holding the, Double pole, down it goes, behind the lady, behind me lady, sorted. That'll do. Right, that's the first one. And then we'll put the, make it a bit taller, put a little knobble on the end so that the, that's it, on the tent pole. And then this one, same thing, maybe not so tall, so there's a little bit of contrast, eh? Bit of artistic license here. So this is a really tall one, it's going to go that way, and this one's going to fly that way. So we'll go from here. We'll put a knob on the end, so to speak, and then we'll come down again. Right. Best to go freehand. It just looks better. Okay. Right. Then down and then behind her. Okay. That'll do. Nice. Yeah, that wasn't so hard, was it? And now we're going to put the flags in. So first flag, look, it's a wavy one. Should we come in and tie it again? Come on. See all these little assets, if we can call them that, all these little elements and assets and little drawing tricks, they, they're building, you're building a kind of a skill set, like a toolbox, an arsenal, you know, like the, in a minute we're going to do the, the border and all these little things. When you go to, to draw your own art, you'll remember how, how you did the, how you did the tent, how you did the bunting, you know, 
how you did the faces on the people. And it will, it's just, it's just learning bits and pieces, isn't it? And keeping each other company at the same time. So now we're going to air draw this, a flag in, right? So it's caught in the wind and it's going to go up and down and up and down, up and down and up and down, right? Up and down and up and down. And then that, this one's going to echo this. So we'll come in about there, right? And then we'll, so that one's gone up and down and up and down. And then I think I'll curl that one a bit. So then this one's going to go about here, I reckon. And we'll, we'll follow it, but it's going to get thinner, right? So it's going to go up and down like that. So it's, yeah, that'll do. So the wind's catching it. So you've got to echo it. Do you know, like we did, when we did this, we echoed. That was the whole idea. You did that, didn't you? Do you remember? And then you echoed it. So you... So when you're when you're echoing, what I mean is you're repeating it. So you do that, and then you go you 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 go in and you do the same thing. So you you repeat it in between. And with this one, what we're doing here is we're going up and down, up and down, and then we're going up and down and up and down. See? And then this one here, we've got to put our because it's got a slit in it, like that. So we'll put a let's just put a, a slit in like this going to catch it so this one goes that way and then this one this one looks a bit weird we'll bring it around like that and then we'll bring it down okay so we're going to make a slit in it and this one will go up like that and then this one's coming down like that right and then it's up to you whether you want to bring it down behind the yeah and this one look you could bring it now that looks weird gray I'm going to make this one flutter that way. That'll look better. So it'll just go like that, and then it'll just, there you are, like that. And then this one, we can bring it down behind the, does that look all right? I might change this, you know. And that's the good thing. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to scrap that. Right, scrap all that. Brush. You have to be happy with what you're doing. If you're not happy, then stop. I'm going to bring it down that way. And then this one, I'm going to bring it over that way. So this one, right, bring it round and twizzle it behind the tent. Okay, so it comes round like that, and then it it twists. I might bring it round behind, not behind the tent. Let's just do that bit. We can always do the, the, the fancy bit afterwards. Let's just get the slit in first. That'll do. Right, okay. That's what I wanted to say out loud, okay? Do that, do that, do that, do that, and don't worry about all the the, the trailer bits. They can be joined on afterwards. There, see, now it's perfect. Yeah? Right, that's that one. Now we'll do the next one. <laughs> this one's going that way. Look, I did it so well there. It's funny how you get it right. So this one's going to come down like that and then down like that. So we're going to do a box first. Ignore this bit and just sort the box out. But again, see how this one is echoing that one. All right, let's try it. So do this and then do one, two, like that. Just a curve, right? Then come down a little bit and do, and this is going to have a line like that, but you need another one of them. There you go. It's not hard, is it? It's called practice. There you go. So this one's gone like that and like that. And then what's going to happen is it's actually twisted in the wind. So this is going to come round like that now. It's twisted. See? Twisted behind. It's come out a bit too far that. So it comes round like that and it twists. So do that. Right? And then it twists again that way. So it twists this way and then it twists that way. Yeah? So now you've got this one coming round like that. This one's coming around the back, like that, and then this one comes back around the front again, like so. See? Should we do that again? You, you cool with this? And then it goes off behind, it goes behind, and then you can always bring it back around here again if you want to. There you go, see? So you create that illusion of it's gone behind there, and then it's coming back around here, like that, and then you just twist it, like we did when we did the birds on a wire. Right, so let's go again. One, two, 
close it up then come round the back you can come you can you can make this windier you can make it look if you want to you can make it come below a bit more like that see like so there and then this one comes back round the front again like that yeah this will work that looks weird gray this one needs to twist more I had it and I've lost it. Right, so this one comes round here and then it twists and then this one comes in through the back. That's it, sorted. And when you put the when you put the lines in, watch, when you put the, the lines, let's put that line in and let's put that line in. And then the lines, if you think about it, they're gonna be there, aren't they? So that's the line there. This is the back of the flag. If you wanted to, you could do that, couldn't you? Oh. As it twists round. Let's do this one as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy enough with this. This will do. Right, that's it. So you've got your flag twist in there. This one's a bit weird. I might I might do a little bit of a might have a little bit of a a play with this because this looks a bit weird. I want this one to come out beyond the so it's come round the back of the marquee and then it's gonna go like that. I'm gonna put those two bits in like that's more like it. See? So you've got that one coming down, and then you've got that one, and then it comes up round like that. Nice. So you've got that movement. Yeah? You got yours? You happy with that? What do you think? You've got to practice it a bit? <sighs> it's not that easy. I'm not going to say that was a piece of cake. But in the big picture, it's certainly easier than the horses. <laughs> right now, take this out here. Take that bit out. Let's 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 finish the illusion, because this is actually wrapped around this. It's coming round like that. Okay, so do it like that, and then bring it round. Now it looks more like it. Right, that's better. Okay, so it's really wrapped. And this one, you do the same thing. If you take this out, this bit, let's pretend that they've stapled it on the other side. <laughs> okay, so it comes around like that, like that, like that, like that. And then that will give you that sense of wrap. See, wrapping it around. It'd be great for shad sh shadows, that bit. There, doesn't that look better? There you go. So you've got your pole. You got your tent, you got your little divot at the top to hold it all together, a little ball. There you go. Somebody had to sew all that, you know. Somebody had to sew all that. My guess is it was a woman. <laughs> pelmet. Pelmet. That's a good word. It's a pelmet. Do you know, that's exactly what it is. I remember when we moved into this house, there were these vile, dark red pelmets over the windows, like disgusting, painted wooden things, right? Just, and they were called pelmets, and they were horrible. <laughs> that was the first thing I pulled down was the pelmets. That's the word, pelmets. Thank you, whoever came up with that one. Paul just sent it to me. Pelmet. Yeah, love it. Right, I feel complete now, I feel whole. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. We've got our flags. Are you still with me or am I on my own now? Have you all cleared off and said, I can't cope with this? <laughs> you got soaked, did you? It's raining, I know. Oh, it's lovely to have your company, I have to say. Okay, so we've done that, yeah? We've established what we're going to do with the... This is what I thought. The next thing is, on the tapestry, we've got to do the border. See the border? So I thought we could have a little look at the border as well. Should we look up close? Let me come up Let me come up real tight and see if you can see it. Right, this is what I've done. It's, it's just a kind of a, a swirl, like a fleur-de-lis swirl. And what you'll see is what I've done is... If you look at the lines here, if you look at the actual, I've split it up a bit. So if that's the, the edge of the thing, I've gone to the middle, get your ruler, 
and let's just split it's easier on this kind of thing let me come out a little bit so you can see it let me just oh other way other way other way great other way right what we want to do is split it so find the middle let's just find the middle so when it's eight and a half inches say so add about four and a bit inches about here where they're all sitting make her like exactly there like in that area there make a kind of a a gap there you go that'll do like that okay so we've got a divider in the middle and then split that half and that half into two just do that just break up the it's easier to draw patterns when you break it down a little bit there rather than look at this whole expanse and think are you kidding me you want me to draw a, a fleur-de-lis border all the way down but if you break it up into smaller sections it's a lot easier so what we're going to do now is just tackle one section at a time right so this isn't even in the middle barbara <laughs> actually i bring that down a little bit that's more like it that's about right okay cool so what you could do if you were thinking of developing your own family crest clue for monday right you could make a box like there make a box on each corner which sounds like the sort of thing that a, a tapestry artist would do make a box like that and then we could put our crests in this corner couldn't we there you go just do that for now yeah that definitely looks more like a tapestry if you do that okay bit of a heraldry in each co in each corner shall we i think so that adds to the old the feel doesn't it i've right, got a little bit her heraldry going on there then what we'll do is right we'll make these boxes so we're making boxes here and in this box now we're going to make a swirl. Should we do it on the side so you can see it over here before we transfer it into the best? Come on then. All right, back in the tight again. I know. Up and down and up and down. So what I want to do, mine's that this is a bit longer for some reason. I wonder how that's happened. Oh well. I will decide where the middle is, the, the join is when I get to it. So what we're going to do is do, ah, oh, about there. Right, three swirls, and let me show you how they work. If this is the gap, you're going to go like that. So that's the first swirl. It goes like that. Okay, let's have a look. So you're going to do that, and then when you've done the one going that way, you're going to come from this side, and you're going to put another one in there. Right, so then you come from this side, and you bring the swirl around there, I'm doing it really large now, so you get it. And then this one, you're going to repeat that one. So you come in from there and you bring another swirl in there. That's it. Right. So one that way, one that way, facing the other way, and then one back the other way again. So in your box, if you like, if you've got a box, your box is like that. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is, because pretend this is, oh, Barbara, you're not even in the picture. Sorry. Right. So you've got one like that, one like that, and one like that. Did I just do all that and you didn't even see it? Stupid girl. Right, we'll go again. There's your box. So you're going to go one like that. Right. Start again. Oh, great. Right, ready? I'm doing it large. One, and then when you've done that way, like that, then you're going to come in from the other side, not from the hooky side, from the other side, and come back the other way, like that, and then come back that way again. See, so if you wanted to, look, you could just keep going, right? That's it. So you keep coming in from this curl, and what you're doing is, in the end, you're making as like that, but every time you go in, you bring a curl in. So it's whichever way you want to roll with it. Yeah? Okay. So back to our box here. So we've got that. And then what we're going to do is pretend it's wrought iron and make like a leaf. Yeah? So on the curl, make a leaf like that and then bring it in. So you, you're making a, like a leaf. There you go. I can't describe it in any other way, really. Right, there you go. 
bring it it's like three dimensional if i was going to color it in it'd be like that right there you go so you've got your your box like that and then what you're going to do is just look at what's what the other spaces in your box right and then you can decide where you want to, so if you wanted to put another flourish let's call them flourishes now or leaves put another one there see so you could i'm going to go really heavy so you can see it so you put another one there and then perhaps you could put one there like that yeah and then if you wanted to here if you wanted to you could put another well i'm not sure about that whether i want to put one there or not if you've got one there, this might look nice there. Another flourish there, you see? And you could bring another flourish in from there. So it's up to you then where you put your leaves in to fill up the gaps, really. See, you could put one in there like that. So then you're filling in your gaps. There you go. So you've done one there, done one there, done one there, done one there. See? And then all of a sudden, it looks like, um, like what you'd find on a tapestry. There we are. So once you've done that, we'll transfer it to our main event, shall we? Should we do it? See, and then when you've done this, see, you've got a smaller area here. So I've done it large to show you. But then what you do is you, 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 you bring in your border. See, this looks so pretty. Let me show you. If we do this, right, then if this were, pretend this were white uh, on black, yeah, and then just for Christmas, just pretend. But, but then I take my, this is white, all this is white and this is all black. And then I take my, my white pencil and I put dots all through here. Can, do you know how pretty this would be? And how it just is delightful and very, very simple. You see, it'd be so lovely. It'd be so lovely as a border. <clears throat> Let me show you up close. See? And all it is, is that. That's the start of the doodle. So now we've done that, let's go back in our little, in our, in our tapestry. Now I've defaced my original. <laughs> right, let me lean on something. Okay. Right, so I'm going to decide i'm going to start up here and i'm going to go as far as let me see let me bring it down a bit sorry about that right and i'm going to go one and i'm going to air draw because the main the main thing is that you get it in the right place to start with so i'll go to that one first then that one and then that one okay once i'm happy with the position of my three swirls One's facing that way and two are facing that way. That's good enough. Then I'm going to put my, my wrought iron flourishes at the end. You can imagine the blacksmith doing it. There we go, like that. It's nice. I mean, if you really want, I could get into this just doing um, like two dimensional. So you could, you could make it look as if it were like properly uh, twisted, like a like metal, you know, that'd look pretty cool as well. But maybe we'll do that another day, eh? Let's just get our, our swirls in. Right, they're happy. I'm happy with them. See, the other thing you could do is put a little knobble. Like, as you're coming down, make a little, just a little... That looks good as well. See, so as you're coming down, make a little knobble. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a, there's a technical term for it. But it's just like, almost like an oak leaf then. It starts to look like you're putting in a little bit more interest on the side. See, that looks cool as well. And once you've got that in place, concentrate on the first one. And the rest is just rep rep repetition. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. See, so if you've got that one in place, then it's just a question of making sure that you're happy with the, the rest of your spots where you're going to put them to I'm gonna, i think that would look really good there and then i i i long that one isn't it that look nice there i might bring my instead of bringing it up from there i might bring it down from here i think that might look better yes i think so don't know not sure maybe that way around on there now turn it around gray 
And when you look at it, you see, and then this one is going to be like uh, hanging off the end of that one. There. And then make a little divot at the end. So that makes all the difference, that little divot. Okay, cool. So now you've got your flourish. See, when you colour it in, it's going to look magic. Right, and you've got your bit there, got your bit there. Happy with that? I know, well, I'm going to do that, you know. I'm going to do that in the original. When we get to it, I'm going to make my my frame with dots. I'm going to do that because I think that will look superb on the buff. I think that will look so lovely um, down in black with a little bit of grey to show the shading and then white, white dots. Now that's a tapestry I'd buy. Okay, so now I've done that bit and I'm going to double line block it off, right? So this will go around, so now I'm going to build the frame around it a bit, extend it a bit, like so. Nice. And now we go again. Yeah. So now it's up to me. Do I want to do the same thing again or do I want to do it in reverse? I think I'm going to push the boat out and try reverse, even though it's, it doesn't come naturally. It's the opposite of what you feel you should do. And then come round like that and bring that one in like that. And then this one comes back round, just look at the top one and bring that one in. It's very addictive, this is, you know. I reckon that works. And then we'll bring our little, there you go. And then come round and bring a little divot in. Round, oak leafy thing. Cool. I like that one. That one came out better than that one. Now what am I doing up here though? This looks a bit empty. I might have to put a little... I'm going to put one in here, one of my leaves. Yeah, that's better. I think I'll put a leaf in here because you, you can, you should be able to just copy what you've just done upstairs, Gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so this is what we're going to do now is make these flourishes. I think there's a good place. Right, so it looks like a, yeah. I might have to go back and change the what I've done upstairs now. This looks right. Put another one in there. So you get your eye in, it works. That's perfect. Yep, 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 yep. That's it. Just think of it as raw iron like leaves. It, 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 it gets logical then. Nice. Dot, 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 dot. That's that one. And then we're going to put the box around it again. For stitching. Cool. It's going to look so good. Yeah. And that's going to be all the way around. It's going to look so, so cool. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I could get lost in this. This is my sort of stuff. I love this stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's what we're going to do is go all the way round with our pattern. So the same, the same. In the middle bit here, well, it's up to you. You want to put a crest in or you want to do just one, one swirl, actually. It would look quite nice. Not the same as that. Go back the other way. Just do one like that. Yeah, that's it. And then bring it round. That's nice. And then maybe one like that. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I'm going to do that differently. Maybe I'm going to... Actually, I quite like that. I've just had a thought. I know what to do. When it gets to here like that, bring it in a bit more like that. And then what you could do is make it look like, um, you know, like raw iron as if it's been twisted like that. Yeah. You know what I mean. Right. Look, watch. So, right. Start again, Grey. So here, in this bit, you, I ought to be doing this on a, on a separate piece, really. As you come round like that, let me, do, let me just do the S, right? So you've got a big S like that. And then you've got your, your leaf at that end and you've got your, your leaf at that end. There you go. So you've got that, that bit there at the S and that bit there at the S. And then in the middle, what you're going to do, we've done this before, you do a kind of a twist. So it looks like a plait there. 
You see what I mean? So that comes around like that, then you go like S hooks and then it comes back round again. Let me come up close so you see what I've done. See if you can see it. Wait, hang on. Whoa, burn of the bolt. See? So you come round with your S and then in the middle it looks like you've wrapped um like raw iron around it. It's like um like an expensive table leg. Yeah? That looks quite good. And then again, you put your box around it, box it in. And then I'm going to do the dots. I am definitely going with the bot that, that hides a hostess in the dots. Cool. I love this. Um, so what I'm suggesting now, my friends, is that, because it's Wednesday, Friday we're getting together again, aren't we? Let me just pan out a little bit because it's a little bit too close. Friday we're getting together again. Um, not with this, though. We're having a moment of clarity. And many of you have got the lino cut stamps that we've made for you. Um, they're pretty cool, gotta tell ya. And so what we're gonna do is put these through their paces. Let me show you them. Um, I drew them myself, um, and then Lucy helped me turn them into positives and negatives. They're really, really lovely to use. Uh, I noticed on Clarity Worldwide yesterday, a few of you were struggling with getting a beautiful stamped image. So I thought what we could do Here's a postcard, isn't that lovely? What we could do, if you want to get a, like, a solid, proper black image, like this, um, I'll, I'll, sh I'll we'll just put them through their paces and I'll show you how we do that. How to get a really good black, solid image, like Dee's done for us here, you know? Because there are tricks. I mean, the thing about the thing about lino cut stamps like these is because it's kind of a quite an organic raw look, you know, if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. It's not as important, you know, if you miss a bit or it's a bit patchy. But I understand that you would like to be able to stamp it perfectly solid black if you want solid black. So on Friday at three o'clock, in the moment of clarity, we're going to put these stamps through their paces. We can get them out to you today. You'll still be able to craft along. And the other thing is, in a couple of weeks' time then, I've had another idea that I'd like to go through with you. And it's all about tiling, using these and making that triptych. And so it would be worth, if you want to craft along or you want to watch on Friday at three o'clock, join me on Facebook Live. I'll go at a pace that you can keep up with me. And maybe you just want to sit and watch, get a coffee, not sour milk, get a coffee and, and just, just observe and learn. You know, because whether you join in or you just pick up the tips, I'm glad to have your company. You know, I'm. It doesn't worry. It, it's it's not important to me whether you 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 doodle or you 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 join in or you buy the stamps. That's not the key here. The key is that you keep each other company, and we and that's all we're here to do. You know, um, if you enjoy crafting along with a crowd, then perfect for you. And if you want to just be part of a crowd and hang out, that's okay too. Maybe you just enjoy the banter and the company, and that's cool. So Friday at three o'clock, that's what we'll be doing. And I'll be teaching you how to use the stamps, how to get solid black, how to get the color in the background, how to put them through their paces. So it'll be really simple. It's not going to be complicated. You'll learn something. That's a promise. And then in a couple of weeks time, we'll take the same stamps and then we'll ramp it up a little bit. You know, we're big believers in if you, if you, if you do invest in us and you do buy our things, we believe that it's important that we show you what to do with it as well. And, uh, and Dee's produced some superb artwork. If you've bought these, then you'll find, because Lisa at work, she's been making some wonderful postcards for you. So this is original artwork by Dee, and this is a postcard. This is original artwork by Dee, and this is a postcard. So the postcards are coming out to you, and they will give you ideas and inspiration. And do you know what? If nothing else, send them to a friend and tell them about us, you know? So that's it for today. Do me a favor, right, homework. How about 
this would be really cool to do. If you have a chance, because this is what I want to do before Monday, if you're, if you're up for it, if you have a chance and you have time, finish your border as you'd like to see it, okay? And then if you have time, and I will do this, I will, I'll turn this round and I'm going to trace it onto, um, I'm going to trace it onto a piece of buff paper. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to draw it again onto a piece of buff paper. And then on Monday, I'm not going to ink it though, we'll do that together. So come Monday 10 o'clock, I'm going to be ready to ink. In other words, I'm going to take one of those pencils, the micron pens, I would have done the lead pencil transfer, and then I'm going to take a micron pen and I'm going to black it up. And then we'll be ready to colour it in. And I think that will be a beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, so that's what we'll do on Monday. And other than that, I'll see you on Friday at three o'clock. Paul, thank you for your help. Thank you for keeping me company. Thank you for keeping me sane. Um, and yeah, enjoy. Keep practicing. Enjoy your artwork. Get out of your head and get with your hands. It works every time for me. Bye bye now. Lots of love. Uh, I can't see with those glasses. <laughs> oh, that's it. I need to. I'm going to the opticians. I've made an appointment. I made an appointment for the dentist. Not.